Thanks principally to its featherweight frame, the Lenovo LaVZ made it to the top of many Ultrabook rankings, including our best Ultrabooks 2016 and top laptops of 2016. But the LaVZ isn't without flaws. Its uncomfortable Japanese-style keyboard and underwhelming battery life unfortunately keep it out of the Ultrabook Hall of Fame. But let's find out more in my Lenovo LaVZ review. Design. Plants at the, the Dell XPS 13 or the MacBook Air, and you'd think they were the latest advances out of the Jet Propulsion Lab or Skunk Works. Plants at the Lenovo LaVZ and you'd think it was a failed prototype out of the Frisbee factory. But lift this Ultrabook and you'll see the Frisbee comparison is actually a compliment, the LaVZ is about as light as one. The LaVZ does make some sacrifices in its quest for lightness. Most notably is its magnesium lithium chassis, which feels plastic and flimsy. The design is a double-edged sword. The LaVZ is easy to throw in a bag and it's easy to dent and scratch. The overall aesthetics of the LaVZ are forgivable, what's not is the NEC manufactured Japanese keyboard. Typing on the Lenovo LaVZ is like listening to a heavily accented foreigner muddle through your native language, communication is possible, but it's a strain. Typing, a ubiquitous and absolutely necessary method of input should never take time, but on the LaVZ it does, and a great deal of practice as well. The keys are appropriately spaced, but any comfort this provides is undone by their mushiness and short travel. Furthermore, important keys like the space bar, enter key, backspace, left side control and right side shift are either too small, oddly shaped, or out of position. Luckily the LaVZ's elegant touchpad saves it from input disaster. Simplicity was Lenovo's design watchword, and with touchpads, that's rarely a bad thing. The LaVZ's touchpad sits slightly recessed in the center of the base. Its click is short and firm and its multi-touch is responsive. It is incredibly satisfying to use especially when compared to the extended nature of the keyboard. Display. The LaVZ's exterior may not be a head-turner, but its Quad HD screen certainly is. Resolution is almost everything in today's devices, laptops included, and it's one very important area where the LaVZ delivers. It's matte. Anti-glare surface allows for viewing in all environments, regardless of brightness. A key feature for a laptop as portable as the LaVZ in the 2560 by 1440 resolution provides clear, distinct colors from edge to edge. While its diminutive size makes group watching impractical, movie night with the LaVZ and a plus one should be no problem. Its screen provides consistent fidelity from any viewing angle. The only downsides are the LaVZ's bezel, which occupies not an insignificant amount of space around the screen, and the lack of touch screen support. Hardware. The Lenovo LaVZ fits big hardware into a small package. It weighs nearly a pound less than competing Ultrabooks like the Dell XPS 13 and Microsoft Surface Book. It features very similar specs, a 5th generation Intel Core i7, a 256GB SSD and 8GB of RAM. All the Ultrabooks in our best Ultrabooks 2016 list offer at least two USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, and a combo headphone, meek jack.
and the law VZ is no different. The law VZ, however, also has an HDMI out, particularly useful for those who still need to connect to their Bluetooth and Wi-Fi less legacy technology, that is the 8-year-old TV chugging along on the bedroom dresser. Battery. The Lenovo Law VZ's Quad HD display comes with the price, a deadbeat battery. On PC Market's battery life test, the Law VZ mustered only 3 hours and 39 minutes of operation. The test is rigorous, the laptop runs through a series of tasks from web browsing to video chat to video editing in order to estimate battery usage under a variety of stressors. A less rigorous test, running a continuously looped HD video at 50% volume and brightness, yielded a better battery time of 6 hours, 35 minutes but both the Lane Vizy's PC Mark 8 and solo video times were below average for an Ultrabook. This may be a deal breaker for some users who are expecting long battery life out of this type of laptop. Wrap up. As the lightest Ultrabook currently available, the Lenovo Law VZ is a worthy ambassador for the category. Its dazzling display and potent hardware would be impressive in any laptop, let alone one as small as the Law VZ. Yes, its keyboard requires patience, and yes, it loves wall outlets a little more than an Ultrabook should. But overall the Lenovo Law VZ deserves its second place ranking in our Best Ultrabooks 2016 list. Users in need of a punchy ultra-portable laptop should consider the Law VZ before pricier options like our Dell XPS 13 or the MacBook Air.